Hey everybody, it's The Walker. So what are we doing today? Well today, I'm going to explain to you why I think bright colors are better for survival. And now why I think bright colors are better for survival. And I'm not talking about dressing like this all the time in the woods, although very frequently I will wear a brightly colored shirt. First thing, we had a bear attack. So, I mean, not me personally, but there was a bear attack in the state. So, we've upgraded the bear defense. Not saying spray is better than a gun, but hey, there it is. I like to have options. Now, what I'm talking about here is your kit. And I'm talking about losing things. How are things frequently lost? For me anyways, the most prominent way I lose gear is that I, I just, you know, I'll set up a day camp, a regular camp, do what I have to do, and then I leave the gear there and I walk away. Very rarely do I simply drop a gear item and then have it lost. Usually it's orphaned. I leave it behind. And if a gear item is not exactly brightly colored, if it's camo or, or um, old green or anything like that, odds of you leaving behind are greater. So let's take a look at some of the gear items I have here. Here are, is the fixed blade knives. This is a Mora Triflex, Bushcraft Triflex, and a Mora Signal. This is a bright, crazy knife. I mean, it's a really bright, crazy knife. Nice, excellent squared spine on it. Awesome knife and they don't call the signal for nothing. Next, speaking of um, fire steels, and we all know what happens if you lose your fire steel. That's a uh, potential tap out situation right there. These are a strike force, one bright, one black. Next, pocket knives. This is some kind of a um, anger thing. Very nice blade profile on this. An excellent knife and it is crazy bright. This is, I believe, a Wanger Ranger. Pretty good knife, not so bright. Does have the little Swiss Army knife symbol though. But this one is crazy bright. Up next, one of my favorite of all time um, flashlights, the Surefire Host. In this case, um, Surefire G2 in in <laughs> bright, bright, bright yellow with a Malkoff drop-in. All in all, probably one of the most um, reliable, for those people who don't like modern LED lights because they keep breaking on them, Surefire style host, P60 host with a Malkoff drop-in, it's pretty well invincible, at least been in my experience, especially with this twisty tail cap. I mean, there's nothing, it's just twist, you can twist on or off, awesome. And here's another one. This particular one is an OD. So, big difference in the visibility department. Up next, we've got um, gear bags. This is a um, packet system. We're gonna do a review on these because I've used them for a while and they're absolutely awesome. And here's just a, um, a Bivyware OD, except for the white sticker, bag which I keep my poncho in. So two different gear bags. That's another item you leave behind. So I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna take these gear items. We're gonna set up a bushcraft survival Easter egg hunt. When we're gonna spread these gear items about in the woods and we're gonna see, we'll put the uh, bright colored one next to the um, less brightly colored one and we'll see how they show up in visibility. So hang on. Ah, snazzy shorts, right? Let's see what we got. Well, I see the knife right off the bat. The uh, Bushcraft uh, signal. Man, you really, um, you really show up good. This um, Bushcraft Triflex, not so much. Although, oddly enough, black has a weird thing where sometimes you can see black a lot better than um, OD. But there it is. Not in the same league as that. 
Going down, we're looking for the uh, fire steels. Again, bam, right off the bat. Mac, you can see it right there. This one, not at all. I mean, there it is. So again, in my opinion, this is OD. It'd be even harder to see than black. That's just been my experience. But still, the international orange totally rocks compared to black. Okay, we'll keep going. Whoa! Oh, look at you. All dressed up for prom night. Somebody's definitely taking you for a dance. And look at that. Wow. Really visible. Really visible. There we go. This is absolutely invisible. Absolutely. That OD is brutal. I mean, brutal. Um, absolutely brutal. Uh, there's the... It's like a gray OD uh, paracord and an OD G2. Really hard to see that one. Now I can see right here, I can already see that stuff sack. The OD one, I really would have to really blunder into it. There it is though. But man, that one, <laughs> this is self, this is self obvious, but uh, it does bring home a point. Now here is the knives, pocket knives. Oh, I can see that one right there. Look at that. Shows up great. This one, not so much. I mean, the metal helps a little, but um, it's nothing compared to that thing. Look at that. I chose this time of day because uh, there's storm clouds and we're around, um, getting around dusk. Some real life uh, consequences. This sack right here, believe it or not, when I gathered everything up, I forgot to get this. And it took me like four minutes to find it. I had to walk up and down, up and down. I went past it three times, even though I placed it there. So it's quite amazing um, how something will just vanish even where you knew you put it down in the woods. This stuff is, as I said, self-explanatory. It doesn't take a genius to work out which one of these is going to be easier to see. You know, it's, it's, very, it's, it's very simple. But this is something I think you have to consider before going out in the field and not when you're looking around for your knife. I mean, you lose your poncho, this is critical gear. You're in trouble. You lose your fire steel, you're in trouble. Um, granted, you should carry more than one way to start a fire, but, you know. So what to do? Well, brightly colored duct tape, crazy colored cordage could turn this around. So that's my advice. You have anything, you know, you don't have to buy a whole new a whole new um, item, but a little bit of um, crazy colored cordage, a little bit of um, brightly colored duct tape might make things better. Whoa, what do we got here? Looks like somebody got themselves a survival makeover. I always give a lecture for those people who stay to the bitter end. Best part of this whole setup, extra duct tape. Who doesn't love that? And the visibility, well, there you go. Well, that's about it. Um, this is nothing that's rocket science, and it's certainly not stuff that the audience already doesn't fully understand or know. But I think it's something to remind yourselves of that maybe camouflage flashlight or um, those cool camouflage stuff sacks maybe brighter colors maybe those are better I mean gear item that's lost is gear item you don't have all right um, thanks a lot for watching if you like what you've seen give me a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and y'all have a great day